Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today we're taking a look at this brand new 2021 Ford Explorer XLT. This 2021 Explorer is a six passenger family SUV with the XLT trim. It's still loaded with plenty of features here. You do have your nice chrome decals on the outside. Getting onto the inside, intelligent access door handles with a remote entry keypad. You've got blind spot on the mirrors. Power window controls are located on the inside here. Nice leather interior on this Explorer with power lumbar power seats for both passenger and driver. To the left of the steering wheel, you've got your trunk release, your lighting controls, and your dashboard dimming. You've also got some paddle shifters here behind the steering wheel. Getting on in, push button start. You've got an LED lighting system up here. Very nice and bright. You do have an analog and a digital display in here with fuel economy, radio controls, tire pressure, trip and settings. You've got various screens in here so you can control your navigation if you'd like. Phone settings as well, audio. You can select your screens you want to see up here. You've also got intelligent four wheel drive, off road statuses, trailer lights, seat belts, and auto start stop. On the steering wheel itself, you do have adaptive cruise, lane keep assist pre-collision, lots of driver safety settings in this Explorer. Paddle shifters are behind the steering wheel here for your sport mode or manual mode. Sync sound system, Sync 3 here with navigation. You got satellite radio, 4G hotspot, Wi-Fi, Ford Pass Connect, so you can start your vehicle from anywhere in the world. Navigation here, you do have select your point, you can go. You've also got points of interest, where am I? You can set up a home destination and a work destination. You get apps in here such as Sirius XM Travel Link, and then you've got vehicle settings, so driver's assistance, where you can control all your driver's assistance features, adaptive cruise, lane keep assist, pre-collision, speed sign recognition, review camera park aid, trailer blind spot, trailer sway control, various really customizable in here. Uh, you've got valet mode, voice control display, mobile apps, and ver uh, various general settings as well, such as units. Moving down from that, you do have your climate controls down here, heated and cool, heated seats, sorry, heated steering wheel as well, dual zone climate for both passenger and driver, control your fans here, you've got your display, looks really, really nice. Moving down, you've got a nice cubby down here with your USB-A and USB-C port, and a 12 volt outlet to charge any devices. Center console, you've got your shifter, your gear lever here with electric parking brake, brake hold, and various drive modes. Those are dynamic in here, so you've got normal and eco, sport, towing and hauling, and the display does change with whatever mode you're in. Trail riding, you've got slippery conditions, and deep snow and sand. You also get a nice big leather cup holder or armrest here, and your cup holders. You can put all your belongings in there. And then up top, you do have controls for your panoramic moonroof, which is located just at the top of the roof right there. Moving on to the outside of the Explorer here, get a look at your privacy glass around the rear seating areas. You have your rear park gate along the back bumper, trailer hitch is installed and ready to go. Your rear view camera is located right above the license plate cover as so. To open the trunk, you've got a button here. You can use the key fob or open it from the driver's section. Your third row bench seat here, seating two, two extra passengers. They're very convenient to have if you have more passengers than cargo. If not, you can easily just push these seats down, like so, and then you do have even more cargo space. You can put your groceries, your suitcases, your bags. Down here you've got a cubby here, and then you've got one on each side for smaller items to keep everything safe, just like so. You also get a 12 volt outlet back here want to charge anything that you have in the backing seating area and you've got cargo hooks or tie down hooks to secure your cargo in the back seat. To close the trunk you do have a button just up here go ahead and press that and the trunk comes back down for you. Getting into the back seat area now you do have cup holders on the door handles here uh, you've got your speakers built into the doors really nice leather seating captain's chairs for your middle row or back seat whichever you want to refer it to as you got nice rubber flooring, and you've got seating storage compartments in front of you. You've also got your own climate controls back here, so you've got your temperature controls, 
your fan, you can power on and off, your direction in which it's going. You've also got a 12 volt outlet and two more USB ports. Really convenient for your rear passengers as you do have your vents located in the roof, like so. So you can control your own separate climate rather from the front seat having to control everything. Down here you do have two more cup holders built in, which is nice to see for your front, uh, your middle passengers here. These chairs are very comfortable and have nice uh, leather armrests. And then taking a look up towards the front of this Explorer, a little feature you can point out here, you do have the Explorer engraved into the headlight there, which is kind of cool to see. You do have an LED lighting system up front as shown earlier, high beams, low beams, and fog lights. You've got your grill shutters. Just a nice big presence of an Explorer uh, on the front end here. So make sure to come on over to McPhee Ford to get your hands on this 2021 Ford Explorer XLT. As always, thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe, and we'll see you in our next video.